Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. My name is Karen Shiryuki. You can call me Kyo. And welcome back to another day of live stream. Today, we are back once again, a little later than never, playing some Hollow Knight. Uh, last time, how far did we get? I know we haven't taken down any Dreamers yet. I think we got a lot of the mobility tools, though, including the double jump. Which means we took down the Lost Kin or the Broken Vessel, whatever the easier one is. Uh, today, we're going to see about getting the Shade Cloak. Um, maybe a couple other things, and, uh, just see where we can go. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. Alright, let me make sure that transition went smoothly, because it has been a couple of days. Looks like it has. Alright. Not sure where the music's gone. I guess if you start up the game with audio muted by default, the music just doesn't kick in. Which is a shame, because the title music is really peaty, but... Let me grab my chat overlay. Hey, wasn't Quirrell here before? I would have sworn that we were sharing a bench with him. Hey, Cruz, how's it going, man? I haven't seen you in ages. What you up to, my man? Uh, what do we want to start with? Uh, we do have the double jump. There's a lot of places that we could go, a lot of things we could do. Right, we have the Elegant Key, and I wanted to see if we can get into that storeroom. So I think we're going to go up and do some stuff from there. Let's see if I can remember how to play this a little bit. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't expecting the 1-2-3 uh, the combo. Let's take him out. Oop, that's not what I need. Okay, we need to go to the left and then up and then do some other things. Uh, adulting was difficult and tried to get everything together for your new PC. Hey, well, yeah, I was gonna say nice, not so much about the adulting. Uh, yeah, how's the hotel job going? Or whatever you're up to these days. And uh, what parts are you trying to get together for your computer? I recently had some uh, experience with that myself. <laughs> Couldn't catch a couple screens. Hey, that's absolutely understandable. Life is what it is. Hell, lately I've had trouble making it to streams. <laughs> um, we're going to take a bit of a detour because I would like to go grab the... Uh, go grab the... Dream Root over here. I have no idea how I didn't get hit by that. But I'll go with it. Okay, none of them are actually in that room. Doesn't look like there's any lower than that. Yeah, it was something that I didn't find out until short notice. I don't know if you were able to make any use of the uh, the link I found to acquire yourself a graphics card. Or if you already have one. Because I know for me that was a big thing, was I, for the longest time I've been wanting to build a new computer. But I didn't really want to buy a computer if I didn't have a graphics card for it because I figured that a decent amount of the decision making I would do in uh, picking out the parts for a computer would be dependent on what I was able to actually get for a GPU. Because otherwise, you may not know exactly what you need for like a power supply, motherboard, all that. Well, maybe motherboard, I don't know. But, uh, you were moved to housekeeping. When you couldn't keep up with maintenance, then you were laid off since the hotels were teaching? The hotels were teaching a quiet period? Reaching a quiet period. So now looking at getting a job at nearby Starbucks. Damn, that's kind of rough. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, 
that sounds like a hell of a time. Hope you're able to get that job. That strange that the hotel would be reaching a quiet period. Usually, at least, uh, the hotel I worked at. Summer was when they got their busiest. Promise plenty, souls to serve. Souls twisted. Hmm. Well, anyway, now we have a bit more essence. How much do we have? We have, oh, we have more than 200. So that's enough to get us a something. But that is another matter. Yeah, I've heard that Starbucks isn't that bad to work for, which is good. Huh. Bench. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go down and then around. How are we looking on relics? We actually have quite a few relics that we could sell to Lem as well. Not sure if we necessarily do or do not want to, but the option is there. Yeah, we just keep going straight across here. My sense of direction is so bad. I think we're going to the left here. I think this is what we have the key for. Of course, time will tell. Yeah! Now, I don't remember what's in here. When might find out? I feel like it's enemies. Oh, is this where the Soul Knight is? Maybe it's enemy. Yep. Kind of down for that. Ah, uh, missed the timing. Yeah, that was way too easy. <laughs> Schools are opening up soon, so you think that's what they were talking about since people are not traveling a lot, since they're prepping the... I don't know about that one, Chief. That might be what they said. I don't know how much I would believe that. But again, it could just be a difference in location. Maybe that's how it is there. That is definitely not how it is here. A figure connected to a device. Examine closely. No. Okay, now I will. It. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure that was necessary, but consumed the shade soul. You're able. Oh, really? What kind of GPU? Uh, cool. So we leveled up our fireball. That's awesome. You know, I completely forgot that we even have descending dark, or desolate dive and descending dark, because we do have both. Uh, where does that put us? Puts us here, I guess. Oh, uh, so getting up there wouldn't have even done us any good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> A 10.30? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I actually didn't know they made 10.30s. I thought that uh, the lowest was 10.60. <laughs> <laughs> not to shit on the GPU, of course. Uh, not at all. Uh, map updated. Okay. So, I guess that key bought us the, uh, the spell upgrade. That's awesome. Good to have that out of the way. So, I guess there's only, uh, one spell we haven't upgraded, and it's the only spell we haven't unlocked. Which is kind of funny. Uh, okay, so we want to go, like, left, up, and to the right. And then where do we want to go? There's a lot of options. It's a matter of what we want to do. Come on, really? There we go. Uh, at some point, we are going to have to go to Deep Nest, even though I don't want to. It would be nice to unlock the tram station. 
Uh, we could alternatively go to the, uh... I forgot what it's called, the Kingdom's Edge. I think that's it. Yeah, we could go to the Kingdom's Edge. Which might not be a bad idea. Uh, we do have to go to Deep Nest at some point. I'm just procrastinating on that because it's Deep Nest. We're gonna get the bench up here. I think we do go to the Kingdom's Edge because I would like to get to the Colosseum. I don't know if we do Colosseum though. Uh, we should actually head back to the Resting Grounds so that we can pick up our reward for 200 Essence. And is there anything that we want to pick up at shops? I think we can pick up a Charm Notch. Yeah, we can definitely afford a new Charm Notch as well if we can get to the Salubra's shop. Got it for $40, $60. Now it's going for two. Hey, that's something. That's not nothing at all. Nice. Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream now. Ah, your dream now holds over 200 essence. You're proving your talent in its collection. Have you seen that great door just outside? My tribe clo uh, closed it long ago and forbade its opening. Ah, uh, but as far as I can tell, I'm the only member of my tribe still breathing. That means I needn't feel bad about breaking a taboo. As proof of my belief in you, I'll open the door. Hey. Right. There, the door is open, and you can enter the glade beyond it. Listen closely in there, and you may hear the utterings of bugs long gone. Yeah, unfortunately for me, I'm like insanely picky, and even without being picky, bypassing, um, getting around scalpers is just brutal, man, uh, to get MSRP. The bugs within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain. But raise your nail and you'll contend with me. Eh. Right. I see no reason to be a dickhead. Now, as I recall, they don't really say anything relevant. They're just kind of cool. So I'm gonna look around and make sure that I'm not, like, missing important things. I think there is a, uh, a dream route here somewhere. All you're waiting for is your motherboard and case, which are coming tomorrow. Nice. That's awesome. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to doing first, uh, when you have the PC built? I do remember that there's stuff over here. Okay, here's where that is. Pick this stuff up here. Yeah, we'll drop down here. I didn't notice there was a drop-down point there. Let's have a look. Okay, it's an yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember there being a screen transition there. What? <laughs> it's because there's not one. And of course, this is a place as well. We'll come back to that. I have to, have to try hardcore survival games and, like DayZ and Escape from Tarkov. But also happy that you can play TF2 again. Yeah! Oh, were you not able to play TF2 on your old machine? Was that the last one? Yeah, it was. Alright. King's Idol. 
And I am aware as well. Something I've not done before. I guess there's a way. Yeah, you can dream nail this and you can go somewhere, but we're not gonna do that. All right, I think that's actually everything to be had here. Uh, just a little bit of essence. Yeah, uh, like another 40-ish. And uh, some Geo. I think it's like 800 Geo for the idol. So that's cool. How much for the next reward? Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the Dream Nail. You and the Dream Nail both seem a little sharper, but you still have a long way to go. Return to me once you have collected 300 Essence. The kingdom is full of old memories, both beautiful and grotesque. Seek them out, reveal them, and gather Essence. Okay. I think we know where, like, two more places are. Uh... Oh, we have two more keys. Ugh, I forgot about the waterways. I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, so we can go to... We haven't been to the Queen's Garden yet. I think we've seen a couple... Yeah, there's a, a plant there, and there's also Master Who. Uh, there's also the... Where is it? The Stone Sanctuary that we haven't been to. I think those are the only two normal dream fights we haven't done yet. Oh, the motherboard broke. Oh, that's rough. Yikes. Yeah, I, well, I'm glad that you're finally able to get a new computer. Yeah, I think we go to King's Station, and we go hit the uh, the spirit route in the Mantis Village. And then we go have a word with Master Who. Bench. I don't really know why I bothered benching there, but I did. Yeah, the spirit's glade. Okay, so Queen's Station. I think it's at 800 essence that we get a pale ore. I know that's some amount of essence we get one. And I'd like to try to get a couple of those so that we can get the uh, third nail upgrade. Because that'll make a lot of things a lot easier. And then I don't really remember where the rest is. Oh, wait, there's one at... Uh, yeah, there's one at the top of the crystallized mound. Maybe we'll do that instead of the Colosseum. That'd be way easier. Yeah, so for a bit of context, uh, has anything new happened to me? Well, um, my laptop kind of stopped cooperating with the software I use for game capture. So that's been fun, uh, which is why we're playing Hollow Knight instead of Monster Hunter Stories or a number of other games. Um... But I've really been enjoying playing this game again. Uh, for a bit of context, I did play this game uh, about a year ago, and I did get like 106-ish percent. So I'm not new to the game, per se, but... Uh, oh, that goes to deep nest. Uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun playing this again. Uh, it's fun seeing what I do and don't remember. Admittedly, I have also been engaging in Hollow Knight content in between the streams. So I am kind of being made to remember things that I maybe otherwise would not have immediately remembered. But, you know, still executing on things is a thing. Uh, aside from that, uh, I went on an adventure on Tuesday at 5.30 in the morning to go to a Best Buy an hour and a half away from my house uh, because at 7.30 they were getting, well, because on Tuesday they were getting a restock on the uh, 30 series RTX cards. Uh, Founders Editions. And uh, the way it was going to work, the Best Buy opens at 10. Uh, they were going to start at 7.30 giving out tickets to purchase them. Um, and then at eight, uh, at 8, you'd be allowed to go in and buy them uh, before the store opened. Now, I live in a relatively small state. And I only got this information literally like 10 o'clock the night before. And I figured, okay, this is relatively obscure. I doubt there's going to be that many people there. Uh, how many people really got this information that are able to get to this place at this time? So I show up there 40 minutes early. Uh, before they start giving out the tickets. 
Only to find, uh, there were 65 other people in line ahead of me. <laughs> 65 people. Uh, which was a mild concern. And then, uh, them handing out the tickets was a bit of a thing because apparently they're, like, they were going to start handing them out at 7 instead of 7.30. But, um... Oh, sorry, I got distracted by reading. You still remember your favorite spot in Hollow Knight? The City of Tears and the Grand Tower with the butter... Yeah, you know, it's funny. We've used one uh, key the whole playthrough. That's the key we've used. Um, yeah, they were going to start handing out the tickets at 7 instead of 7.30, even though they were scheduled to start at 7.30. Problem is, there was, a, I guess, like a an inventory mix-up or something like that. So they actually didn't know how many of each card they had. <laughs> so it was the kind of thing where they were literally like printing them as they were counting them, the tickets. So they didn't actually start handing them out until like 7.45. Uh, and there were people in line like worried about like, hey, I've got work at such and such a time. I thought it was going to be there by this point. And they're like, yeah, even after we give you the tickets, it's going to be a bit to actually ring people up and all that. So that was a thing. Luckily, not a concern for me. Uh, for better or worse, I guess. Um, and then from there, it was... They uh, they had a guy go out with a, a folder full of tickets. Go up the line like, Anybody want a, 10, uh, a 3060 Ti? Anybody want a 3060 Ti? And then they'd go up for like the uh, 3070 Ti's. Then the 3080's. 3080 Ti's. 3090's. So it's from lowest to highest. And if you said no, there was no guarantee that if they were out of the card that you wanted by the time they revealed, like, by the time they started distributing them, that there would be any of the previous ones left. So, like, if you wanted a 3080 but you might settle for a 3070 Ti, you'd have to wait for them to completely get, like, go up the line with 3070 Ti's to see if they even had 3080s. And if they did, if they ran out of 3080s, there's no guarantee they'd have any 37Ti's left. Uh, so that was a thing. No need to wait for a 30 series card when you are a low spec gamer, i3 with a, G, with a 1030. I mean, true. True. Most people don't really need that good of a card, though. It, it really, really depends. Um... Yeah, so I I wanted a 3080. Uh, unfortunately, because I was like number 65, 67, something like that in line. Uh, they went all the way up the line with the 3060 Ti's, 3070 Ti's. I never even saw the guy with the 3080 flyers. <laughs> never even saw him. Um, I had a shot at a 3080 Ti, but I didn't know that the 3080 Ti's existed. So I had like five seconds to Google it. Uh, and I saw that it was... $500 more than a 3080, and it wasn't as good as a 3090, so I just passed on it. Probably shouldn't have. It would have saved me like $300, uh, because the 3090 is only like 2% better for another $300. Uh, somebody else snagged it, because again, I had like 5 seconds to Google it. But I did, I did finally get a 3090 at MSRP. And let me tell you, after seven and a half months of trying, it is such a relief to have, finally have a GPU. Now I have to navigate the labyrinthian ordeal of plotting out what what the rest of the stuff I want for the computer is. Uh, let's see. Wait, child. Why have you come here? Have you come to tame this savage, ruined land? Many have come to purify this place, but all who dwell here are eventually consumed. Yeah, big pog. Uh, yes, even the wild bugs lurking below us. They were once proud like you, but now they are only monsters. Beware dreams of glory, child. Turn back and do not return. I mean, yeah, we're gonna challenge him. Yeah, now for the whole rest of the PC. Exactly. It seems like step two is pick a CPU. Then step three is pick a motherboard. Step four is RAM. Step five is power supply. Step six is case or something like that. I don't know. Uh, cooling in there as well, somewhere. But let's challenge this dream. Uh, I'm trying to remember how he fights. I don't really have a strategy. I'm just gonna try not to die. Uh, help will probably be helpful. 
I mean, that sounded redundant as hell. I'm going to be doing a lot of research online. Uh, thankfully, it looks like there's a lot of useful information online for figuring it out. And I have looked at CPUs a little bit and narrowed it down slightly. It's just a matter of figuring out, like, what do, what do I actually need? What's overkill? And uh, what's actually reasonable price? What's not, etc. Yeah. Send it! Okay, so far so good. Okay, where's the part where this gets hard, though? Uh, when I lose, like, sense of depth. Okay, got it. Okay, I need to heal. Much better. Okay, I need to wait for them to actually slam down first. It would help a lot to have the Shade Cloak. Oops. It would help a lot to have the Shade Cloak. Jeez, I'm gonna die. JK. I'm not scared. You're scared. Ah, that's not good. Ah, I actually died! No! Damn it. Damn it. Ah, I was so sure I'd be fine. Alright. Uh, I wonder if it's quicker to get there from the City of Tears, actually. Maybe? Yeah, I guess it's a... L no, wait. Uh, yeah, I have Desolate Dive. Yeah. Man, I'm so annoyed at myself. That shouldn't have been hard. Alright, let's go to the city storerooms. We'll take that route. I wonder if I should use more magic. Yeah, I know. There were a lot of times I got pretty lucky with healing, too. Where I just didn't get punished when I should have. Oops. I should have expected that. Gonna need to find some healing. Well, that looks like healing. Also want to get some soul. I think I could go just straight left. Yeah. Yeah, um... Shade Cloak, or whatever it's called, would be very, very helpful. Oh, I don't have enough soul. Damn it. sorted. Uh, honestly, whatever just happens to be better for my needs, probably AMD. Because, so far as I'm able to tell, AMD just seems to be better these days. Um, but I don't really have any, particularly loyal, uh, any particular loyalty to one brand over the other. I just want what's going to work. Uh, what's going to work the best and be the most reasonably priced. But probably AMD. Uh, I think I was looking at... What was it I was looking at? There was one CPU I was looking at that I wanted to look into a little bit more. Check my phone in a minute. I still have the tab open that I was looking at. Go over here. Yeah, let's pull that up real quick. Uh, I was looking at.
Was it that one? Yeah, it's probably overkill, but I was looking at the uh, Ryzen 9 5900X. But that was only, like, brief searching. Uh, you got Intel? Because that's what came with your pre-built... Yeah, I've got an Intel on my laptop that I'm using right now. Um, and it's worked well enough for me, but... Doesn't mean I feel compelled to stick with it, you know? Okay, this is where my shade is, right? Yeah. There we go. And I don't think it's worthwhile to go get more souls, so I don't think I will. Alright, I think we just fight him again. And hopefully do better. Turn back and do not return. Nah, man. Yeah, I keep dying on, like, crackback. I'm also really bad at dodging that attack. Damn it, I was too slow there. I need to work on my charm setup, too. I thought that attack was going to be centered on the thing. I understand what went wrong. Ah, man. Okay. I thought I had time. I keep, like, misjudging distance and my speed and stuff like that. It seems like attacking him from below is great because it gives you more time to react. I thought I'd dodge that, actually. I just straight up thought I wasn't getting hit there. Okay. I don't know why I jumped there. That was just a bad move. Okay. Heal. Yeah, there, there was nothing I could do there. Really? I walked into the guy? Yeah, that was deserved. Okay, and the sooner you dodge that, the more time you have to heal. That's good to keep in mind. Yeah, there was just no good spacing there. Now I get to heal. Okay, now I'm kind of getting it. Got him! Uh, the world's best whack-a-mole player versus puny bug. Yup. Accurate. My mind, it clears. Have we been sleeping, child? Ah, I remember. Those proud lords. Were they truly monsters? I remember their eyes now, bright and clear. Why then did I fear them so? If there was madness in that village, it was I who brought it. They were right to cast me out. When I attacked, they were right to... They were right to kill. They were right to kill... me? Ah. Uh. How much do we get for that? 100. I'll take it. Damn, that's kind of cool, though. I assume it was the Mantis who put up this monument for him. I wonder if he was taken by the infection or what exactly happened to him. Now, I really, really don't want to fight No Eyes. <laughs> that is kind of the next place to go, but boy, do I not want to. Have a look at the map here. Uh, have we found the tree in Green Path? I think we have. Uh, haven't? Oh, yeah, we could Crystal Dash there, too. I think that's how we get to... Um, I think that's how we get to... Stuff. What's up top? Oh, yeah, we could fight Gorb. There's a lot of things we could do now. A lot of things. Uh, let's try to get to a Stag Station. I want to go to Crystal Peak and get the Pale Ore there. So, I think the easiest way to do that, let's drop down and then go right. Isn't there a way down over here? Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, I like the Queen's Garden quite a bit. I don't really remember what all that entails exactly. But I remember liking the area a lot. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do... Uh, I guess there's no reason for me to not do Dreamers at this point. Originally, I was holding off on doing Dreamers because I didn't want to infect the Crossroads, but uh, I'm still not sure what the trigger was. The Crossroads ended up infected anyway. <laughs> Even though I haven't claimed a single Dreamer mask. Meant to look into what triggers it, but didn't get around to it. I deserve that. Oh, come on. That one was a little rude. I guess I'm relatively close to a bench, so I shouldn't really be focusing. And burning soul on it. I also still need to fix my uh, charm setup. So maybe we actually go... There are just so many places to go right now. Let's see what we can do at the moment. Not much. But once I get a new Charm Notch, I think we drop Soul Catcher and put on Mark of Pride. I think that's the play. So let's go to... What's the quickest way to get there? Uh, I don't think it's from the Infected Crossroads anymore. Uh, what's on the other side of the Blue Lake? Resting Grounds. Yeah, we want to go to the resting grounds, and that way we can go across the blue lake and get to Salubra's shop. <gasps> yeah, trying to remember how the map works. Like, what's where and all that. I think we just go straight left here for a while. Right? Nope, not quite. I didn't pass it, did I? No, I didn't. Uh, Mark of Pride plus Long Nail equals a Lance. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be using Long Nail, but uh, I will be using Mark of Pride. Actually, that and if I can... Where does Quick Slash come from? I might even have Quick Slash and not even know. I feel like that'd be a hell of a combo. And I'll check out what's actually in the like meat and potatoes of the Blue Lake once I come back. Alright. Charm Notch. Take it. Six more charms and we'll be able to buy that one. I don't really remember where all the different charm notches in the game come from. And I do really like Soul Catcher. I wish I was better at directions, because then I could put on Grub Song as well. Oh, we actually have Long Nail too, that's funny. Uh, yeah, we're going to slap on the Mark of Pride. Having more nail range is going to help a lot. There we go. Let's just head over here real quick. There's nothing I need, right? Uh, there is that one room I didn't go into, and I think it does have a fragment of something. Are we close on any... No. <laughs> uh, the answer to that question is no, we are not. So I can hold off on that fragment. Not that there's a lot of reason to, but... Let's see what's over this way. Relatively chill place. Boy, you gotta love the sound of these things. Thor's one, uh, Thorns was really good early, uh, early game when you slash when you were bad at the game. Yeah, I used to like Thorns a lot. I've since heard um, fairly compelling arguments for why it's not as good as. I thought it was. Uh, 
Because I used to think, wow, it does the whole amount of damage that my nail does. Every time I got hit, that's so good. And then I was kind of made to realize, like, the fact that it stops you in midair and still eats your iframes, uh, keeping you from repositioning, your, uh, repositioning yourself is actually kind of bad. Because uh, it, it can cause you to get hit more. Which ends up being not very good. Uh, as well as, like, the fact that there's a delay between you getting hit and actually going off. So you don't always even hit anyway. And you don't get soul when it triggers. Uh, so you're potentially depriving yourself of the ability to heal or fight back. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I initially thought it was really good. And have since come to believe that maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. Uh, what's the best way that I have to get to the stag station? Or to, to this place? Uh, Dirtmouth. Obviously it's Dirtmouth. Why would it not be Dirtmouth? Is there anything else I wanted to buy at... What's his face? I think there was... Ah, oh, well. Yeah, I think I forgot that Sly had stuff I wanted to buy. That's fine, though. Yeah, I want to get the Vessel and Mass Fragments. Uh, I know that he said he has two more Vessel Fragments. Which is great. Oops. Huh, did I just trigger that by bonking my head off the top of it? In a way, that makes sense. Ever did the Coliseum? Yes, I did. Not in this playthrough. We're actually... That's one of the things I'm kind of working on right now. Is uh, getting to the city uh, Kingdom's Edge. So that I can unlock that. Because I know that there is a Pale Ore there. Uh, but when I last played the game about a year ago, I did do Coliseum 3. Took a while. Was a pain in the ass, but we did do it. <laughs> I say we did do it. I did it back then. Because I guess that was before I started streaming, so it wasn't really a, a wee thing at that point. But you know what I mean. Oh, King's Idol. My king. Oh, we have a lot of Geo in Relics, huh? I forgot about that. We might be able to buy some stuff from Sly. Now, I really don't think I want to do the Enraged Guardian. I might try it. We lose it 100% chance. Relaxing even. That is a bold thing. The earlier rounds, I, I seem to recall enjoying decently well, but... It was the later stuff that I did not enjoy quite so much. I suppose we do have... We do have the bench right there. Do I have an odd number of masks? No. It'd be nice if I had one more mask before attempting this. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I, I want a better nail and I want one more mask because as it is now, it's more trouble than it's worth. But I am aware that it's there. What is to the right up here? I think we just go up. Yeah, we just go up. And then we go right. Yeah. Okay, uncharted territory. Well, didn't think you'd be that bulky. Okay, so it takes three hits to kill those. Do you have a particular favorite wave or uh, one of the, like, set of the Coliseum? Or boss from the Coliseum, even? There is one stage in particular that I remember taking a lot of damage in that I didn't much enjoy. Uh, it was one where they take a, the floor away you have to fight a bunch of flying enemies, and you can pretty much only, like, live by pogoing. 
Oh, rip that guy. Huh. Well, there's probably stuff down there, but let's go this way. Okay, I wanted to make sure none of the walls were cracked there. Damn it. Stop. Jeez. That could have gone better. Get a bit of Geo here. if there's anything down here or if it's just a way to get back. Okay. It's just another way through. But yeah, I think it was like a bunch of um, the like homing vengeflies or whatever they were called. As well as the, uh, the flying like swordsmen. You know what I mean. Okay. Wait. Wait, actually? Well, thanks for giving me trust issues, Hollow Knight. <laughs> I was just discovering that I could uh, upswing while riding on a wall. I didn't think there was actually something there. Why does audio get quiet here? Oh, is that going to be a thing that requires Shade Cloak? It might be. I think audio gets quiet near uh, Shade Cloak beams. Got him. Oh, or it's just because we uh, got close to the end of the room. Did I miss something in there? Oh, that's like outside. Oh, we're near the summit. Okay. The whole of the second and third of the battles and the boss were all really good. Okay. Fair enough. I forget, is, uh, do you fight uh, Oro, Mato, or Shio there? I remember you fight them in, um in Pantheon. I just don't remember if you fight them normally. Ah, stupid bug. May as well heal. There we go. Yeah, I guess that bug just flew into spikes. Aw, oh, man. Of course, I talk smack and then I launch myself into those spikes twice in a row. Uh, you for Yeah, the... Are you talking about the Pantheons? Like the, uh... The God Home stuff? I guess they 
probably... E yeah. They probably want me to crystal dash across that, not just nail bounce. Yeah. Oh, we found the summit. Hell yeah. Hallow Nest's crown. Which, of course, you can't wall jump over. Interesting that you can't read any of these. Except for, I believe there's like one at the end. Yeah. Hail or. Oh, maybe you can dream nail them. No. Hmm. But yeah, you're talking about like the gauntlets where you do uh, like boss rushes. I'm gonna do this. I know it's not gonna work. Yeah. Uh, the three things that were explained by the hanging bug. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the just the like overarching. Um. I don't know, I guess you could call them trials. What? Dashing across that brings you back down here? That don't make sense. Fair enough, I guess. Um, so there is still a route down here that we didn't take. Probably leads to like a relic or something like that, so we're gonna do that. But yeah, I think it's like the, the trials or something like that. Could just be that. Oh, there's a a root down here. Yeah, I think runners call them like Colosseum One, Colosseum Two, Colosseum Three. But I don't think. That, oh yeah, it is trial because it's like trial of the warrior, trial of the champion, trial of the something. Yeah. Yeah, no, I totally feel you. <laughs> Two Hollow Knight veterans just rubbing their brain cells together as best they can to try to remember uh, what was what. Also, I have no idea how I got that wall jump instead of just getting hit by spikes. I knew that was coming. Yep. And I thought, you know, I could just land and uh, fireball it and be safe. But I thought, no, I don't want to use the uh, the soul on it. And then I proceed to use the same amount of soul as I would have otherwise. Anyway. Damn it. Uh, what was my favorite boss? Hmm, it might have to be Mantis Lords. Oh, Grub, is it real? It is real. Yeah, I really like Mantis Lords. Uh, I also really enjoy the Hornet fights. I think those are probably my favorites. How about you? There's also a uh, a pale ore reward for saving enough grubs. I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember like what all the different sources of pale ore are in the game. Light refracted, energy contained. Okay, I think we've done everything to be done down there. This leads straight back to the... No, it doesn't lead straight back to the bench. Okay. Actually, I think we can go this way, though. Wait. 
Okay, so we're gonna go to the left and down and then to the right, and then we're gonna head back to Durban. Seriously? Oh, there's a wall there. Okay, here we go. Mantis Lords were a pretty good choice. Yours were Grasmother and Lost Kin. Really? I don't think I've ever heard anybody claim uh, Grasmother as a favorite. Was there a particular reason? Okay, I think we fully explored this place. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more to find here other than the Enraged Guardian and what he protects. Which we're just not ready for. As I am no low percent runner. <laughs> not yet, anyway. I think we're gonna go talk to Lem and see about selling off our relics and see if we're able to buy any cool stuff. Slightly overshot. Oh, I guess we could summon the Grim Troop, huh? Uh, the closest to your online name and the fact that you're essentially fighting a pregnant woman. All right. That is... You know what? Fair enough, my man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anybody choose a favorite fight in a video game because of similarity to the idea of fighting a pregnant woman, but you know, to each their own. Who am I to judge, right? Let's go to the King's Station. I forgot that we never actually linked up the two halves of the City of Tears. In fact, we might just continue exploring the City of Tears. I forgot that we didn't do that. Kind of strange that there's no stag station in the Crystal Peaks. You'd think there would be. I guess that's kind of the point of the connection to, um, to Dirtmouth. But you would think they'd have a Stagway more directly close to it. I'm bad at this video game. Let me just heal back up. Got him. Take barely any damage from that guy. It was just... Ooh. Rip. <laughs> the drowning fell. I should also try to save up enough money to uh, get scammed. I think it's like 4,500 Geo. Maybe I should wait on that. Uh, it's just funny for some reason, since you're also fighting gods and respected knights. Yeah, that's fair. Right, that leads to the ancient basin, which we've done. It's crazy to think that I almost didn't go down there. Uh, just because I didn't see this entrance here. Where do we get the rest of the geo to get scammed? Let's go and connect this up, since the lever is right there. And we'll explore up here. Hmm. Ah, damn. damn it. Hey, Toasted, how's it going, dude? I haven't seen you in a while either. Is there anything up there? I guess I should find out. Uh, no, I haven't fought Fluke Marm yet. 
have not gone into the waterways. I think that it's in the waterways. Aw, oh, man, there's nothing up there? Damn it. Going all right? How about me? Doing pretty well. Having some fun playing some Hollow Knight. Re-exploring a game that I haven't played in quite some while. I think this leads up to the Watcher Knights. Yeah, I think this leads to Watcher Knights, which I don't really want to do right now. Could. Not terribly opposed to the idea, but... Not really what I'm looking to be doing right now. Oops. Really, I hit by that guy? God damn it. Been playing anything interesting lately? Sniped? Aren't they able to get me here? Maybe? Uh, the answer is yes. Yes, they can. Watch your nights were a little tough. You played this when it came out, again, after all the content updates, and then one final time on the Switch. Loved the Switch port. Yeah, Switch is actually where I played this game first. Um, I picked this game up because I wasn't able to get my Switch capture to play nice with my laptop anymore. So, um... I ended up buying this game for the second time on, uh, on Steam. Thankfully, not too much. Though, I mean, I will say... The game is borderline criminally underpriced. Because it is just a fantastic game. $15 for all the content this offers? God damn. Oops. Time that wrong. Got him. Who is my most hated boss? Hmm, let me think on that. I feel like there is an answer that should come to mind immediately, and I'm blanking on what it is. What did that do? I actually don't know what that lever did. Oh, did it open this up? Yeah, it did. Um... I guess it partially depends if if dream bosses count, maybe NKG. You're we fishing over the weekend. Nice. Catch anything good? Dip netting. I never heard of dip netting. What's that entail? I mean, I guess presumably dipping a net, right? Hmm, I feel like I want to be going this way because it leads to a bench. And then the other way probably leads to swag or something. Google, uh, Google image circuit shit to get a good idea. Okay, I'll probably do that in just a sec here. Huh. Alright, uh, yeah, let me run a quick Google search here. Pull up my cellular phone. Oh, okay, yeah, so... Okay, yeah, you, you go out with, like, a big old net and try to scoop fish out of the water, from the looks of it. Salmon fishing. You got 14 in total. Not bad. Planning on eating? I assume that you weren't doing, like, catch and release. I don't know if catch and release is actually a thing outside of, like, fishing rod fishing. But... Uh, yeah, so I might check out, like, one room higher, and then we'll go chat with Lem. Just one room. Already canned them. Nice. I suppose it was half a week ago. I was gonna say, wow, that's really quick. Still kind of is, but... Got 
got him. Uh, yeah, it's for food. Limit is 25 for a head of house, plus 10 for each family member. Okay. Do you plan to go back and get more? And that limit, is that per season or per trip? I'm assuming per season. So that leads to an elevator. We'll explore horizontally. We're just not going up more. Might go again in the next couple weeks. Season yet? Okay, that's cool. Oh, is this going to open up a shortcut? Yeah, we can go across here now. Cool. Alright, let's drop back down then. Shouldn't be too hard to find Lem. Damn you, fall stun. Also, my poor sense of direction. Yeah, I think this is Lem's. I'm surprised he's here. I thought he'd be outside looking at the fountain. Okay, so how much Geo can we get here? We can get 1,200. Uh, 22... 2350? Uh... 3350 4150 Yeah, I think we do that. All right. Boatload of Geo inbound. You don't cut yourself at all. Uh filleting the fish and then you get a small cut the, this morning on an avocado. Yeah, that just about figures. Another wanderer's journal. I might not offer a lot for each, but they're plentiful about uh but they're plentiful about the caverns. And I doubt you'll find another willing to make trade for Geo. Valmy Artrith. Fair. Warrus son? Gian. Wanderer's journal? Yes, yes. I'll add it to the pile with the others. I don't know when I'll get to decipher this one. It's long, hard work translating the many languages of the bugs that explored these caverns. Valmy Artrith. That's interesting. How convenient that we have to speak the same one. Wanderer's journal? You've been act for finding these. Corpses must be frequent on your journey. No doubt your nails created many more. Velmi Artrit. True. Kachail, Liasok. Another wanderer's journal, eh? This journal is full of traditional, uh, is of traditional stone type. Text endures well upon it. In its declining age, the city switched from stone to parchment woven of spider silk. It's a small tragedy, but the mo uh, moisture in these towers has rendered most of those texts illegible. Velmi Artrit. That is a tragedy. A wanderer's journal? Have you heard that saying about stone journals? If danger lurks close by and your, null has dull, uh, and your nail has dulled with wear, just swing your journal at your foes with blunt and deadly flair. Amazing. It's a good one, isn't it? And accurate. They sure have a heft to them. You're goddamn right. What's, what's that? A wanderer's journal? I have so many of these now. Once I get around to deciphering them all, I'll be the preeminent scholar on Hallownust's dead. Valmy Artrit. Fair. Yeah, you get loads of Geo here. I underestimated. Like, I knew that you get a lot here. I just didn't realize I had Velmi enough relics Artrit. to get this much. Another Hallownust seal. Others have told me there's a statue out by the city's entrance depicting a large knightly figure. Could be one of the kingdom's great five. I'd have, looked at it, uh, I'd have looked it over myself, but the gate's long been shut tight, and it's too much hassle taking the long way around. With all those blasted husks about. Velmi Artrit. Accurate. Boris Sun Gian. Yep, that's another Hallowness seal, all right. The shop will be overflowing with these things soon. Gah! I'd never guessed so many would be uh, would still be lying around. If they're as common as you make them seem. Maybe I've been offering too much for them. Velmi Artrit. <laughs> uh, no, no, they're worth exactly that much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gachail Liasok. Another Hallowness seal. Pass it over, then. Oh, he just takes him. Okay. The king's idol, eh? Hallowness King was an elusive figure, defied by the citizens. Oh, deified by the citizens. With the king rarely seen, worship was offered through these idols. There's an expert craft to them. Few alive could match this skill. And I think we'll hold the other one just in case I die somehow or something. Well... Yeah... Yeah, it's good to have ADS backup. 
Uh, 800 is back up, I should say. Uh, now, where do I want to go from here? I want to go to the f uh, the Queen's Station. So we'll drop down here, and then we'll just speed to the right and take the uh, the King's Station to, to get there. And I am not going into the waterways just yet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what any responsible bug would do. One who is mindful of their money. In fact, I think that's a good idea. Let's go do that. Uh, we want to, yep, yeah, we can just spam across here. Oops. Uh, ow. Got him. <laughs> but at what cost? Uh, yep, it's still one more to the right. I want to get full on soul. And it looks like it's a little further up. Yep, here we go. And bench. Map updated. I actually don't know what part of the map I updated. Oh, that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, let's go to the Queen Station. And then I think we can get up to the Fog Canyon from there. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we go up. Oh, yeah, isn't there something we can get over here now? Because we have double jump. And did they say anything new? Uh, nope. We already read that. Oh, another Hallow Nest seal. Sweet. Oh, wait, what? Please, not food. I wonder if they got eaten up here. Hmm, delicious. Hmm, just splendid. You actually get to hear her burp. That's kind of funny. All right. Something I was talking about the other day, I don't know that folks were necessarily here when I was. Uh, have you guys looked at speedruns at all for this game? And if so, do you have any particular favorites? Have you considered opening an, uh, reconsidered opening an account? Losing Geo is a terrible thing. You'll be much more confident out there in the big, dangerous world knowing it's safe with me. Yeah, I'd love one. Yeah, I really don't want to have to worry about losing this 4,900 ad. You're a smart one. Next time some dreadful beastie gets the best of you, you'll be glad to know your Geo's safe within my sh sh um, uh, my vault. Now, let's do some banking. I would like to make a deposit. Looks like we're only allowed to put in 4,500, so we'll just put in what we can. There. So that should be safe for us in Geo case we happen to die. Da. Goodbye, then. Stay safe. Just you, Geo. Hello, dearie. Keen to do some banking? I was just curious if, you had, if she had more dialogue. Alright. Uh, so now let's carry on. I did put in the maximum amount, right? I think 4,500 was the max? Okay, we're good. Yep. Alright, so let's go. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I think we want to go back to the King's Station. Uh, because that's the quickest way for us to get to the Kingdom's Edge. Actually, I should go take some of that back. Uh, there are a couple things I want to go buy from Lem. Not Lem, uh, Sly. 
Yeah, because I think we can actually buy the rest of a soul vessel. Because I think he said he has two more pieces. And we should have had enough geo there to do that. So I'll take some of it. Maybe like 1,100 of it. Huh? Gasp! Our money! It's gone! Whatever shall we do? Wait, did it... I thought I heard a thing pop up there. Eh, whatever. Oh no, the money is gone! Well, time to go relax the concerns away. Demonstration! I know, it's so sad. I, I need to go, like, drink away my sadness and have, uh... Have a, a pretty voice to sing to, to... To wash the sadness away. You know what I mean? Like, what do you do when you lose everything other than go and, like, listen to pretty songs to soothe the rage away? Guess we gotta start making some of that Geo back, too. Kill some of these enemies. Um... Yeah, so anyway, I was watching some speedruns, and I don't know if there's any categories that you guys like, if you've seen any speedruns, but, uh, the... I'm in the wrong building. There is a speedrun category that I absolutely adore called, I think it's lawnmower percent or grass cutting percent. It's one of the two. And it is literally a speedrun where you, you don't try to beat the game, the objective is simply to cut every single grass in Hallow Nest as quickly as possible. And it is fantastic. I don't know if you know how much grass is actually in Hollow Knight, but it's a lot. singing. Actually very pretty singing. Let's go relax in the sauna. Oh hey, would you look at that? What are the odds? Oh no, leave me be, creepy little thing. What's up, Millabelle? Oh, uh, uh, hello again, d dearie. Fancy running into you here. Is it your Geo you af you're after? Well, you see, it's, uh, it's a sad thing, but it's gone. All spent. The cost of running a bank can be high, so I had to charge a somewhat large service fee to your account. Perfectly legitimate, of course. Just part of the whole banking deal. <laughs> but... Uh, thank you so much for visiting me, and run along now, won't you? If you allow me some privacy, I'll be done here soon, and you can have the spa all to yourself. Yeah. No hard feelings, okay? No, of course not. 80% murdering Menderbug speedrun, that is an- that is another classic. I'm going to be needing that Geo back, lady. It's great that you enjoyed holding on to it for a bit and all, but... That's my money, and, uh... I intend to use it, so... You can just be giving that back now. Gee, she had quite a bit in there, huh? Gotta keep picking it all up because uh, I think it ceases to be able to render it all. Pick up some of this as well. I know some of it fell over here. Oh, no, no, we're not done yet. 
You can stand again when I say you can. Good thing you have such a thick shell, huh? Very, very effective for protecting anything that might be stored inside. I wonder who the first person was to discover this. And I wonder how many people got baited. Don't want to accidentally knock her down there now. Jeez, we're getting back more than I thought we would. I didn't remember how much of a profit you make on this, but uh, it's not insignificant. Okay, I think she's finally out. <laughs> yeah, she's finally out. Holy crap, I didn't realize we had that much in there. Should have had the fly charm that retrieves Geo. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a bad idea. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue. Here, I'll even put you back in the uh, in the sauna, in the spa there. Yeah, it seems that's all she's got. Okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> made a slight profit there. Now, what do we want to spend this 7,218 Geo on? It would definitely go a long way towards Unbreakable Charms, but we don't really have the troop yet. And it would go a long way towards it, but it wouldn't go a long enough way. I think we can actually just drop down to the right, and that's probably the quickest way back to the King Station. Uh, maybe. I don't mind going this way around. We started a Don't Starve playthrough today. Nice, how's that going? There's a first person mod. Huh. Yeah, I would believe it. That it's scary. Never did play that game. I wasn't a huge fan of the, like... It's weird. There's not many games that this applies to, but... That's a game that I just couldn't get behind because of the art style. The whole, like, Tim Burton aesthetic just didn't really vibe with me. Like, I can definitely respect it, and I can understand why the other people like it. Just doesn't really work for me. But, I should probably actually give it a try sometime. Because that might change my opinion. Have you been able to get very far in it? Admittedly, I'm not the most familiar with what far entails, but... I'm acting up. Let me tap out and uh, have a look at my internet situation here. Oh, the internet looks fun. Yeah, let me know if it's alright for you guys. Uh, it keeps showing that the stream's like disconnecting, reconnecting. But I'm also not getting any uh, alerts on Streamlabs saying that it's having problems, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But do let me know. <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada. I don't think we need any of these. Well, <sighs> shopkeeper pins might be useful. Mm. Yeah. It's only 100 Geo. Yeah, uh, let me just ask in chat. You guys able to hear me? Able to hear me? Seems my internet is being characteristically 
jank again. There. All right. Uh, so where do we want to go now? I do want to spend this Geo before we lose it. I think there's somewhere else we can spend it. I just don't remember where. Oh, yeah. We should go check the grubs. Okay. I think these badges even mark shops that weren't marked before. Maybe there's not anywhere. Stream sound is broken. Okay. Uh, gonna bring the stream down. Uh, sec to fix that. 